tile. So I'm going to do an experiment here that involves paper clips, some string, and a magnet. And I've got a couple different magnets here. And one of the things we're going to look at is if the type of magnet makes a difference. But I know that in most cases, you can do what I'm doing here with a magnet off the refrigerator if you have one. You might want to try using a paper clip, though, that's not covered in rubber. And we could think about why that might make a difference. So first thing we're going to do is we're just going to see if the paper clips are attracted to the magnet. So I'm going to try this magnet here. And my blue paper clip is, atta is, atta is attracted. My yellow paper clip is attracted. I can pick it up. And the black paper clip here is attracted. So I know that these materials are attracted to magnets. And I have another magnet here also attracted to magnets. Oh, but I noticed something with this magnet. Not so much with this one. This one, eh. You know, I didn't have to really go that close to the, I had to get fairly close to the paper clip and then it got picked up. And here, you know, again. So it looks like almost it jumps towards my magnet, the paper clip. Huh, interesting. So what I'm wondering, because it looks like it jumps, so what I want to see here, and again, ooh, that really jumps. What I want to see is, Is the magnet actually attracting the paper clip from a distance? Is is the force that's pulling on this paper clip? Is it does it have to touch the magnet in order for it to happen? Do these guys have to be touching, or will it work at a distance? Um, and we're going to start off with this guy, only because this magnet, the, the paper clip, seems to jump from from a farther distance, and so it's maybe a little easier to see how things happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, let's see if I can just do it with, yeah, see, I'm not getting hovering here. It's just going right to the magnet. And eh, I, I really, I want to see this thing hover because I'm not convinced that, you know, it's just not pulling and that's it. Like as soon as they touch, it's just given out. I want to see if this pull will happen even when they're not touching and for a period of time. So let's see if I can get this to work. So I've got my magnet over here. Nothing's happening. Well, let's put the string a little flatter. Let's see if that makes a difference. No, it doesn't make a difference. So if I go to here, get a little closer. And while I'm doing this, you might want to think about, is there a way I could do this better? What could I measure? Because I'm not measuring anything here. If you're doing this at home, maybe you could figure out a way to measure what's going on. Whoop, and it moved. Okay, so now I've got my paper clip on the magnet. I was busy talking. <clears throat> it's above the table. That paper clip's above the table, but it's still stuck on the magnet. So let's see if I can get it to stay. Oh, so if I move, it's pretty cool. Can I repeat that? So I have their cats, they're touching. And then if I pull, whoa, oh my gosh. Let's see if I take this piece of Velcro sticky stuff and I just stick it in between here. Oh, there's no trick here, it's really floating. All right, so it definitely will float from like a centimeter. I'm estimating it's a centimeter. Let's see if I go a little closer. Yeah, definitely for a centimeter. So maybe if I pull it out a little farther, I don't know if you could tell, but it's not, It's the, the string doesn't seem as taut. Maybe a little farther. Yeah, it's still floating. A little farther. It's being the sag a little bit, but it's still hovering above the table. I can, let's see here. Yeah, let's see. Still underneath. Still going. That's pretty impressive, actually. And it's barely over the table. Hmm. And that's about it. So maybe one and a 
half centimeters, not quite two centimeters, definitely maybe two centimeters, definitely not two and a half, so definitely not an inch. So it's going to be between, I'd say, one and a half and two and a half centimeters somewhere. Um, so let's get a little closer because I know it's going to hover. And actually, if I lower my platform a little bit, I'm going to see a little better. Nope, I'm going to raise it. Go the opposite direction. Now you can see it a lot better. So let's see what happens if I lift up the magnet. Can I get. So I'm defying gravity here a little bit. Well, and I lost it. So there's definitely a limit to how far this magnet's acting. Huh. Now I'm wondering, can I repeat this with this with this magnet here? Because I know that it'll stick. And I know I can lift it up, but can I get it to hover? So I can definitely pick it off the ground. But the hovering just isn't. I have to get really close to get anything to happen. This is like, so just to give you guys a, an idea, so this is almost basically a millimeter. So it's like one tenth of the distance that I was able to do before. Maybe two millimeters. If I go too far, it, it just drops. And if I go too high up, it also just drops. So we have a phenomenon here. That we can see in our next step, now that we've observed something happening, we have some evidence of maybe seeing what I can do. If I go all the way up. Oops, I can't go all the way up, but maybe if I Maybe if I see this is no. Well, we've seen what I can do with this stronger magnet, definitely. Oh, I can go. No, touched up, but I let it go. Oh, look at that. Woo! And it fell. Lost it. I can definitely see though that I can make this paper ship hover as long as it's a certain distance from the magnet. And so now your task is going to be to write an explanation, claim evidence and justification for what you think is going on here that we can investigate farther as we go. So there's our phenomenon. We've got a paper clip loader. And based on what we've learned so far, why do you think we can do this? All right, guys, now your turn. And hopefully you're able to do this at home. Again, you need a paper clip. It doesn't have to be coated. In fact, it will probably work better if it's not coated. A piece of string, or I have here a piece of ribbon. Um, and then a magnet. And I have a fairly strong magnet here, but it worked with this guy okay. Um, and it should work with a refrigerator magnet without a problem. So, thank you guys for being a great audience, and I will see you later.